is it about the hour-long crime procedural that makes viewers all over America, and the world for that matter, tune in time and again? Just look at how many different flavors of law and order we've been subjected to over the last couple decades. We're up to how many different CSI variations now? And that's to say nothing of Cold Case, The Mentalist, The Closer, Hawaii Five-0, the kind of shows that pull in ridiculous ratings in primetime and are truly evergreen in syndication. I'm at a loss to explain it. But from the moment the opening credits hit, bam, you're in. Buckle up, grab a caffeinated drink, and wait, this is a video game? McGee, trace his cell. Already on it, boss. Roger, Unit 223. Unit 198, go ahead. I was wondering why everyone looked little, uh, uncanny valley-ish. Indeed, this is Ubisoft's new NCIS game for all the major consoles, because when you've got a license to adapt the hottest hour of naval crime-busting on television, you want to make sure you hit all the platforms. The game plays out as a series of four episodes starring, well, digital representations and sound-alikes of the cast. There's a reason those credits don't give the actors names. Anyway. These stories put you in control of the various members of the team as you collect evidence, interview witnesses, perform autopsies, conduct various forensic tests, and... I suppose you could call this hacking? Alright, so the gameplay itself boils down to some distressingly easy motions, simple matching games, and wandering all over crime scenes looking for that last bullet hole you missed before. The most intense the game gets are the deduction board segments, where you combine the discrete pieces of evidence in order to come to an understanding of the murders, and the interrogation sequences, which combine quick-time witness pressing with Phoenix Wright-style contradiction by making you call out the suspect's lies. And that's... pretty much it. Only one problem. You've got your fingerprint on the light switch in the counting room, which makes you a liar. Graphically, this game is about as middle-of-the-road as it gets. On one hand, everyone's recognizable. On the other, man, do their lips and teeth look weird. That's where I usually get hung up. Lips and teeth. And you wonder why I prefer anime. The stories you play through are actually written with input from the series' main writing stable, so they've got the twists, turns, and interconnections you've come to expect from an hour of quality television. The vocal work... However, all right, here's my main beef. The sound-alikes do a passable job, and if you're not familiar with the show itself, you'd pay it no mind. But the trained ear can tell that Gibbs sounds nothing like Gibbs. It takes Ziva an episode and a half to tell the difference between Brooklyn Jewish and Israeli Jewish, and Ducky... What do we have here? A broken proximal interphalangeal joint. But the lack of bruising suggests it happened post-mortem. Is actually voiced by David McCallum, star of Stage and Screen, and along with Robert Wagner as Dinozo Sr. are the only two voices from the actual TV These show to grace the video game with their the presence. Turning in what may be the best line reading in video games in the past 20 years. Everything he says sounds natural, in character, and, well, frankly, sets the bar too high for the rest of the cast to reach. It's unfortunate that the whole performance is marred most grievously by the excellence of one particular member. The whole experience is going to run you maybe six hours. Not much longer than if you sat down and watched four episodes of the show itself. But that'd mean you'd miss out on the game's dirty little secret. The fact that one playthrough, from start to finish, yields all 1,000 achievement points. That's right, this may be the easiest thousand points in existence. I expect the PS3 trophies work much the same way, while the Wii gamers out there... Well, too bad, so sad. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go curl up on the couch and watch 18 back-to-back -back episodes of CSI on any of the 15 channels that offer such a lineup. Where did the police sergeant go? Handed the case over to us and got back on his pony. There was a pony at the crime scene?